This place looks better in shadow. Pass judgment. Thou shalt know. Are you certain you are ready? We may need to leave in a hurry. Then go about your business, but do not take forever.
Are you certain you are ready? We may need to leave in a hurry. Before I answer your question, you must learn how all this began and how it must end. The year that the Theocrat seized power away from your mother, Lady Mara Valkyrin founded the Order of the Veil. Mara had one purpose, the defeat of the Theocrat and the destruction of all religion. The Theocracy and your Imperial family before it had used religious symbols to wield power. Mara's goal at first was simply to free the world from that oppression. But to defeat great power requires even greater power. And it does not take long for power itself to become its own end. Sixty years after the founding of the Order, Mara found a way to extend their power by channeling the essence of the dead god into their own bodies. It required an artifact, an immensely ancient cauldron sacred to the Temurians that was known as the Crucible of Souls. The Order stole it from Temuria and concealed it in the city of Kyalisa. Using a ritual only known to the Pentanera, the Crucible can channel the essence of the dead from across the veil, the barrier that separates dimensions. But what the Order did not know was that there were twin dangers to using the cauldron. Two centuries ago, the High Sage of the Pentanera used the ritual to channel vast quantities of essence into his body, against the laws of the Order. A dark spasm twisted his body into a demonic creature, and in its rampage, Lady Mara herself was killed. The High Executioner Baron Evanger pursued this outcast mage for centuries eventually ending his life. But Mara, although dead, was not gone. The dark spasm had fortified her soul with essence beyond anything we mages had experienced previously. And the more essence the Pentanera channeled through the cauldron, the narrower the space between the worlds became. Mara's soul was eventually found by a demon, a devourer, and she began to plot her return to this world. Meanwhile, Mara's son Serge Valkyrie rose to become the new High Inquisitor. It was Lord Valkyrin who sensed my potential when I was a young initiate in the Order. About 40 years ago, I managed to become Chancellor to the Theocrat. A decade after that, there was a rebellion against the Theocracy, and I was able to slay the Theocrat myself with one well-aimed knife blow. My reward was the post of High Sage, 
which I gladly accepted. With the theocrat defeated and religion all but eliminated, the order began to quarrel. Lord Valkyrin sensed correctly, I might add, that the Order was no longer as committed to its original goal of stamping out religious power by eradicating religion itself. He and his acolyte attempted to seize control of the last remaining relic, the God Slayer Sword, in order to destroy its terrible power once and for all. The rest of the Pentanera resisted them, but the resultant war from within nearly destroyed us. Valkyrin and Evanja were both slain, but their souls were fortified with the essence of the ritual, just as Mara's had been. All those centuries of rituals with the crucible of souls had weakened the veil immeasurably and the destruction of the Godslayer changed the balance between worlds. Shattered heaven came to impinge upon this world, and the world of dreams that mages had once walked within became shadow. When Lady Mara returned to us, it seemed like a miracle. I do not trust miracles, and when Valkyrin and Evanja also returned from the dead, I knew my days in the Order were numbered. So I fled and made my plans. Carissa was an ally for a while, but eventually they took her life and made her a demon too. With few options remaining, I eventually took the desperate step of summoning you, demon. We have no hope, you and I, unless we can find a way that the Crucible of Souls might be destroyed. I have no possibility of learning anything useful from the Temorians, but you just might. Especially now you have Zar at your disposal. Destroy the cauldron, and we may yet defeat Lady Mara, Lord Valkyrie, and Baron Avenger. Unless the Crucible of Souls is shattered, you and I are both doomed. Ask your questions. of souls now. Lady Mara moves it between Kyalasar and Thol, according to where the next ritual will take place. Wherever Mara can be found, the cauldron will be also. But she is too powerful. 
While she possesses the crucible of souls, there is no hope of recovering it, I'm afraid. It must be destroyed. Ask your questions. Thou worked for Tsar? Hardly. I feigned capture and service because doing so served our purposes. You betrayed me, Sage. Deceived me. Indeed I did, Tsar. Deception is and has always been my most effective weapon. You have questions? soul has been lost, but the ironclad zombie's soul has been taken. Why canst we consume some souls, but not others? You can feed on the essence of any dead soul, but not all souls are powerful enough to withstand dying. Only those souls exposed to great quantities of essence maintain their identity into death. Although Darmok was in the Order of the Veil, he had only partaken of the ritual once. However, he had channeled essence into the ironclad zombie in order to maintain it as a servant. That is what allowed you to consume its soul. Go on. Art thou here, or just another projection? You are wise to question what you see. It is a rare day that I elect to appear in person. I am here at the Oasis, but I will not say where. Shadow projection is far safer for a fugitive mage. Don't you agree? You have questions? Why didst Evia's soul survive death? I too would know the answer to this. Alas, uh, I don't know. Without discovering more about how you died, Evia, I'm afraid this will remain a mystery. But I'll wager you were exposed to essence in your final hours. Perhaps whatever incantation was involved is also the explanation for your loss of memory, hmm? Go on. Why did Tsar's soul survive death? You did this to me, didn't you, Sage? I can't claim any involvement, Tsar. You are a veteran of the Accession Wars. Like everyone else who fought in that conflict, you were exposed to the Conclave's final curse. What do you want to know? Final curse? Explain thyself. At the end of the Accession Wars, the Conclave of Temoria took desperate steps to try and drive out the invading army from Corwin. The curse the Conclave unleashed changed Temoria forever, but it also changed every veteran of that conflict too. That is why your soul survived your death, Tsar. The Conclave was foolish to use such a curse. Even today, Temuria has not recovered from the damage their war magic has wrought upon its flora and fauna. You have questions? Ah, 
How canst we possibly trust thee? You can't. Any more than I can trust you, demon. I have made a living from deception and betrayal, after all. I can vouch for that. But then you are a demon summoned without a pact, and you are equally difficult for me to trust. Yet, ironically, we both must trust the untrustworthy, else we are all doomed. You have questions? Enough talking. I would rest now. Indeed, a good night's sleep would do us both some good. Go ahead and rest. I must enchant the oasis with some alarms in case we are attacked. Thou trusts no one, eh, mage? It is the only reason I'm still alive. Krenz, I'm here for your head! Must you alert our quarry, Avanger? You forget whom we pursue, Valkyrin. Krenz knew we were here the moment we were in sight of the Oasis. There are too many escape routes from here. We should not have engaged. You elemental mages are all alike. You forget the basics. I'll guard the pass. You cover the desert. He'll not escape from here unless you fail me. They're here. Hmm. Faster than I expected. Whom do you speak of? Valkyrin and Evanger. They followed me. I have cast a celeritary enchantment, and I'm already gone. For your sake, I hope that Valkyrin chooses to pursue me. Take the southern trail into Jagged Peaks. Broken Spear Pass will take you straight to Temuria. They will not follow you there, I hope. Do not try to engage Evanger. It's certain death if you do. But he is a sightless mage and cannot enter Shadow. Use that to your advantage. Now go. Go!
that.
can fight once more. Yes. <laughs> 
The jagged peaks stretch from the borders of Corwenth to the Eastern Ocean, a thousand leagues hence. The mountain range protects the northern borders of the wolf tribes of Temuria, but they rarely set foot in its passes. From the outlands to Temuria, only one route can safely be trod, Broken Spear Pass. Griffins roost high atop the craggy ridges and may fancy a lone traveler as an easy meal for their young. Worse horrors lurk in the dark places, unseen by any mortal eye. High in the pass stands a remote Temurian border camp. Few who are not of the wolf tribes pass beyond into the Temurian wilds. I could only trust in the ingenuity of my accomplices to gain admittance. Outstanding, you eluded Avenger. Thou jests! He shall surely follow us into the mountain pass. You are not his quarry today. He will not risk pursuing you if it might mean losing me. Head for Temuria if there's a way to destroy the Crucible of Souls. You may learn it there.